Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are standing here in front of this uh, statue or thingy and we're heading this way because uh, there's a jigsaw inside but we cannot get a hold of it right now. And of course, I gotta look for a way to get up here without dying because this guy is kicking my ass. Die. <laughs> yeah. So we have another note door. I realize I have a bunch of notes since I always get a hundred in each world. But that uh, doesn't motivate me to go and skip a world, you know. I just uh, play them all in order. Here are a couple of uh, hidden paths. Not too well hidden, but you know. Here we're gonna have to push this to get the jigsaw that we got activated in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Only that if we didn't get it activated back there, uh, the hat of the statue would bro break broken and we wouldn't be able to go inside. So normally it would just slip outside again instead of falling inside as you can see now. So this is the Jigsaw number 5 of Grutilda's Lair, so that means we're, we need 5 more. And the worlds, uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, I believe there are 5 worlds left. Uh, I know I said that I was going to post all worlds episodes, but unfortunately I've been kind of busy lately. And it's not that I don't record them all in one shot, because I do. Cause this game doesn't save in between notes. But uh, videos need editing, and I really don't have much time for editing, so... I'll try and post either one or two videos. Uh, I don't know if there was something here. Guess not. Yeah, I'm just looking around so I don't forget anything. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the entrance of the world that we're gonna go after the world that we're gonna go now. This is not the next world. This is the world after uh, the snow world, Free Sea Sea Peak. As you can see, if you use the boots, you can cross to the other side. So uh, when I'm finished the next world, I will meet you there instead of uh, showing you the whole trip to the desert uh, entrance. And for those who didn't catch on uh, how to open the snow world, the one that I'm going to now, uh, just review the Bubble Gloop Swamps episodes, especially the, particularly the first one, and you'll see uh, what you missed. Okay, because uh, I did activate it sooner than usual. And there's one move here of bottles. I believe after this one, there's only one more. Let's go in here and check out what's going on. This house, this igloo, I should say. At least that's how it's said in, in Spanish. I don't know if English is igloo too. Says that their dad, Boogie or Boggy, was gonna give him some presents and he's gone for a while now. And they're all sad in there. <laughs> That's one of the problems that we have to solve in this level. Down here, we're actually gonna see their dad. Run! My stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Oh yeah, it's Boggy. <laughs> Boogie. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of thinking of another bear. Uh, what was his name? Uh, whatever. Oh, Yogi. <laughs> uh, here we're gonna activate the lights. The Christmas lights. Where are the Twinklies? Yeah, I gotta remember all names. And we gotta protect them so they can get to the tree. Only ten of them have to make it through. I suggest you use the bird pack as best as you can. Try and kill them. Uh, at the same time, 
so that they can pop up in a certain rhythm, you know, where when exactly you're supposed to take them down. Ah, oh, that one I missed. <laughs> Okay. I'll get this in a second. Okay, I got him now. <laughs> All right. I guess it's uh, it would be really nice if I was playing this uh, level like uh, in December during Christmas. It would be a little more nostalgic maybe. Because I did play this game back in December a bunch of years ago when I first got it. Because I did get this game for Christmas. And I did get to this level very quickly. So it was really nice. <laughs> Alright, so there's the bottles move here. We don't need it to turn on the tree, but we might as well get it in, in the air. Uh, do the other stuff that you can do with this move. I think it's one of the best moves, but if you miss your shots, you're gonna get hurt pretty bad. So you gotta have some good aim. I don't know how I should uh, say of how to aim, but I guess you gotta watch out for Banjo's head where he's pointing and just shoot towards that direction. Or I should say like in between Kazooie's head and Banjo's head, that's like the perfect bull bullseye. So <laughs> I guess that's my advice. I'll show you in a minute. For now, let me try and activate this tree. So you turn on the lights, but then you have to fly up and go through the star a couple of times. Three, I assume. It's always three. For some reason, games always have this three mark. <laughs> so, let's activate this star with our X. Now we go running. You be, be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry. Sure. I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard to get up there and do this. The only hard part will be uh, hitting the snowman with the new move that Bottle teaches us. Bottles. So let's just go through the star a couple of times back and forth like we did with the key in Clanker's Cavern. And get this done. One more time. Alright. So as we are in the air, we might as well also uh, take out the snowman. You can see that there's an X, a red X on their heads. That's where the target has to be destroyed. If you hit them in the body, they'll just bounce back and try again. <laughs> uh, it's not that I ha I'm pretty good at this, it's just that I've done it so many times. Uh, it's, <laughs> as you can see, when you crash, you don't hit your target, you get hurt pretty bad. Uh, depending on the damage, of course. You can hear a Jinjo around here. Yeah, there's a guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, it's not that I'm an expert on hitting these guys, it's just that I kind of feel that if you aim like in between Kazooie's head and Banjo's head, you kind of get the, the target. Uh, pretty quickly and kind of accurate, I guess. It's not 100% sure, but you know, I guess you get the hang of it as, uh, as much as you use. And the problem is that it consumes a feather, and then you'll have to be like looking for feathers around to practice. But there are a bunch in this particular level. Alright. Oh. One. Man, I just keep missing. The water here, you can see that it's talking to the, the cold waters, <laughs> like the piranha from Bubble Gloop Swamp. So we got that jigsaw up there. Let me just go and grab this one. And then on the next part, I'll pick up the ones that I have already activated. 
Of course, I did this all in a certain order, but, you know, sometimes I can miss the order and just activate a bunch of uh, jigsaws. Alright, so this is as far as I can get for now, and I'll see you guys on the next part. Thank you for watching. This has been Usumachi. Take care. Bye-bye.